boxing live here. DJ boxing live here. Uh, oh, that that that's hilarious. I'm like, okay. this is this is boxing related. It's politics related, but it's just pretty much Mexico telling Trump to go fuck himself. He this is a Mexican president. Okay, we'll pay for your wall. Give us back Texas. <laughs> what? You know how Donald Trump is trying to say Mexico will pay for the wall, even though there's no way in hell Mexico will ever pay for that wall. The Mexican yeah. president, pretty much, yeah. They, Mexican they, they president, gonna, they gonna pay for it, man. They're not gonna pay for it. They're yes, never they gonna are. pay for it. How? Look, uh, tax on the money they, they send back to Mexico. They're never gonna. They already do that already, and they're not gonna pay no, for that. Don't. No, dude, they do that already. As somebody that has knows people that does money from Mexico, yes, it does. Yeah. And they're never gonna pay for that wall. Look, that's the, that's the company taxing people to transfer money over to Mexico. They ain't the government. The government gonna do that. They have their own tax. So you're gonna tax people that are American that send Yo, money bro, to Mexico. It ain't dude. just Americans, okay? I know that, but for the majority of them, yeah, they're right, Americans. Right. And then you're gonna, and then, and then guess Mexico's what? Mexico's highest GDP is people putting their money back over to Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that I can Trust see, me. but they're never, they're, they're never gonna pay Thanks for that wall. Look, dude, they're never gonna Thanks pay for that wall. No, they're, they're never gonna pay for that wall. They're not gonna pay for that wall. Hey, look, dude, look at, look at the, look at the little bullshit that, that Donald uh, Trump trying to put in. Bro, dude, bro, just listen to them. Now. Things are changing. They they confiscating drug money, everything to pay for that wall. So they gonna pay for that wall. Trust me. They're never gonna pay for that wall. They're never. Yeah. You're, you're not. You're not gonna see a cent. What you're gonna they, see. They are already losing the jobs and everything. The, the reason why uh, Mexico want people to go over there because Mexico don't have no welfare system, so they want people to go over there to work in the United States of America and send money back. That's how. That's how they do. And they middle class is growing over there in Mexico. See what I'm saying? Well, with that, because they, they don't have to pay for no uh, uh, welfare and nothing like that. So since they don't have to do that, they send all the people who need the welfare over the United States. Everybody hit to what's going on, man, bro. Yeah, that, that's and, the company. and then guess what? They're still never gonna pay for that wall. Yes, they are. They, 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 they're they never gonna pay for that already, wall. dude. They're never Trust gonna me. pay for that wall. They're it's it's a money wall. thing, bro. It's, it's, Bro, a money. it's a money thing. It's not a money thing. They're never going to pay for that wall. It's all about, it's all about the mucho dinero, my, my friend. Yeah, it's, it's all, all about, about the mucho dinero. Yeah, it's that, all about mucho dinero. They're saying, that, that's why I, they saying, dude, they're going to build it. Trust me. The, they no, they get a lot of money. No, no, no. no he'll hey, build hey, the wall. Mexico get a lot of money off that drug money. No, 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 no. I didn't say the wall wasn't going to be built. I just said that Mexico was never gonna pay for it. You they know what's gonna pay for it. No, you know what's gonna happen? They're it's, gonna bill us. They're gonna bill the American taxpayer hey, no, with twenty million gonna... dollars. And then when look. Trump tries to do, tries to little pull a little tariff, uh, little tariff. Guess what? Look. The prices in Walmart are gonna go up drastically. No, so you guys are no, gonna no, have no. the American taxpayer pay twice yeah. for a wall. No, no, it's not. Yeah, dude, it is. That's what it is. No, it's not because everything it. made from China. So thank you. No, actually, no. <laughs> actually, no. The, the it, that, that one, that that one little section of the food they got in Walmart from Mexico, it, it, it might go go up. Okay, actually, I, I don't okay, buy okay. Actually, 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 okay. <laughs> what what brand of TV you got? No, no. What brand of TV you got? I got um, AT and T. You got an AT and T TV. You talking about the television? TV. Oh, television? Uh, I don't know what this hell is saying. It's like a Sanyo. I never heard of it. I just bought it off somebody. Okay. $50. Um, here's a little history tip for you. Almost every TV now is that comes to the U.S. is assembled in Mexico. Yeah, that's that's going to change. That's changing. That's not changing. It's yes, it not, is. It's not yes, changing. It all, you, you ain't listening to the news. All the companies are moving from Mexico back to the United States of America. Well, you're reading the wrong news because none of the companies are. Uh, you know what right they're doing? doing? Know you what know what they're doing? doing? No. You know what they're doing? Okay. No. Dude, but you're not. They're, they're not moving my anything. My friend, my friend, listen here. This dude ain't playing. This is why I don't understand what people don't understand this. The, 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 the dude you talking about, 
you know, these people you talking about, this is, for one, this is the United States of America, okay? It was built on kicking somebody's ass, okay? Well, and then I'm going to say this. It, y'all, y'all think the, uh, the Trump or people who support Trump, the, you know, I'm just going to say this. The white man, he going to lay, lay down and take it. This is the dude you talk about that the British Empire who known for taking other people's shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, not not taking shit from other people. You know what I'm saying? This is the, you gotta understand who, who you're talking about at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, then, who you dealing with. This dude yeah. ain't gonna take it laying down. That's why the dude in the office right now. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that's how like, I knew he was gonna run. Dude, dude, dude this this how I knew he was gonna win last year. You know, the year before last, 2015, when he when the primaries, as soon as he said that thing about Mexico, I was like, man, this dude's going to win. I was like, you know what? Because I listen to all these dudes on YouTube and people shelter them. So I listen to other people. You know, I listen to the opposition. And a lot of these dudes been pissed off for a while, man. They've been saying this for years about people in Mexico taking their jobs, people making jokes on uh, uh, South Park years ago. Uh, oh, they taking our jobs. You know, they, they thought it was funny. But but it's real, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, dude, dude, yeah. dude, pissed, a lot of a lot of dudes pissed off, and they and they jobs leaving the country, and it's been happening ever since like the '80s and, and whatnot, like decades, and so they ain't gonna take it no more, man. I'm telling you, they ain't gonna take it no more. Yeah, you know I, I, I love the no, people no, no, going I, on in Europe. Dude ain't gonna lay down. You talk about dudes like the Vikings, the British Empire. We can go back that you know centuries. With the, you talk about people go into other people's countries and take other st- stuff, they ain't going to lay down. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's, that's it. And you got in South Africa, people like third, fourth generation claiming land, you know, claiming land. And they was like, oh, this is our land. Like, Africans looking at them like, this ain't your land. You know what I'm saying? You stole this. And they claiming it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the person you, that, this, this type of people you dealing with. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, it, it, they gonna pay for the wall. Mexico gonna pay for the wall. Trust yeah. me. This and is where the money's at. People and, come and, and let's put it to you. One, and let's put it to you once again. Yes. Let's yes. put it to you once again. You're right in that sense, because because Lyndon Johnson said it best. If you can convince the lowest piece of shit white person that he is better than the best black person or Me- or Latino person in the world, he will glad he will gladly look away from you robbing him. Hell, he'll even open his wallet. That's lit. That's LBJ, a good, a, a good old boy from Texas. He, yes, I understand that. Now, the problem is going to be though is, as long as a lot of those folks that are apparently, and I'm going to be blunt as hell, people that are bitching about losing their jobs because they're probably too fat, too dumb, and too lazy to do the jobs. And second, they probably don't even realize that a lot of those jobs were not lost because they went to Mexico. They were lost because they went to robots. And so you, your enemy isn't an immigrant. Your enemy is automation. Dude, it's, it, it, look. And, and, and look, 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 this is about big businesses, man. This is about big business, okay? If the dude can get it done cheaper, if I can get a 1,000 T-shirts 50 cents cheaper, done in another country is going to be done. If, if, if logistically I can get it done cheaper in my own country, they, they'll, they'll do it in their own country. Dude's trying to make it cheaper so he can get it done in his own country. They know that's how business is done. Business is global. The merchant don't care about nobody, you know, but the, but, but the bottom line, which is the dollar. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you see him playing out. That's his money. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a damn about yeah. the Mexican. Yeah. Don't give a bad damn about the Indian. You know, the businessman knows what it is. The bottom line is a dollar. That, that's yeah. it. You know what that's, I'm saying? So that's all what, this, that's what I agree. They're not playing for it. They, they are going to pay for they're, it. No, Somehow, no. We talked about reason, and we talked the, about it. And that's long, why they're never going to pay for the wall. The, the they are never term. going to pay for the wall. They're Look, li- they, Trump, they, no, they this is what literally – no, no. This is how Trump yeah. literally sold them. We're going to build the wall, and then we're going to send an invoice to Mexico, which you know what Mexicans are going to do? They're going to burn that invoice. No, they they're gonna pay for it, man. They're not gonna pay for it, dude. As much trust as me, I, as, as much as is what it is, they're not gonna pay me. for it. Trust Trump me, they is, make a lot of money in the United States of America. Trust me, they're gonna pay for it. 
Yeah, yeah. Trump, Trump, Trump. they're Trump. not gonna pay for it. Not one cent this, from the Mexican mean, government is gonna they, come. They're gonna to pay the for the wall. They, they're they not pay for the wall. Pay. They're not gonna pay for the wall. They're not gonna pay for the wall. No, what's gonna no? What's gonna happen is what I told you. The American people, the American taxpayers, gonna wind up paying for that wall twice. Trust me, they gonna pay for it. And then yeah, and then in and then in like in twenty twenty, when you realize that the that all of the places in twenty 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 twenty, we're gonna have like a whole bunch of jobs here. But uh, Trump gonna probably be doing his third term, and. Just, just watch and see. <laughs> oh my God! No, 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 no. Did, 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 uh, I'm gonna be as blunt. I actually, I did say blunt myself. Did that retarded shit just come out of your mouth right now, Mother, dude? The third term? No, not the third term. The fact that we're gonna have lots of jobs. Trump is, dude. Trump is such a narcissistic idiot, dude. Man. Man, because he is, he is literally, he's already, dude. It's a month in. And he's already lost his national security advisor. Hmm. A month, and it's not even a month in, and he kept that position open. He's keeping that position open for five days. Hmm. That's never right. happened before. You always right. have a national security advisor available. That's right. one thing. And then second, because of his attitude, you and because of his attitude and hmm. the way he tries to engage things with, with China, you may literally have a scare of global economy. Why do you think that when Trump won, all of the stock features man, started to crash? No, no, the the, the, uh, the stock features went up, man. The, no, and then they went down. And the, guess what? A lot of those stocks. And they up. Yeah, they up yeah. Twenty thousand. Yeah, they the up twenty thousand. Stronger than it's ever been. Yeah, and guess who did that? Barack Obama. So. Who? Barack Obama's the one that did that. He saved well, actually well, the he economy didn't. from. Yeah, well, he, he did, dude. He didn't he, save nothing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He let, yeah. He didn't save anything. The fact that the that in he didn't create any jobs in the past eight years either. Yeah, he did. That's a bad thing. No, he did I, not. No, he did not. He created a lot of part-time jobs. That's it. We want factory jobs, man. Here in the United States of America, yeah, factory yeah, jobs. Yeah. yeah you want twenty want, dollars an hour job. Trust okay, you me, want that's why people come here. Well, so that's why you got leaders coming here. Because they, they want they want real paying jobs. They don't want no four dollars a day job. Okay. Doing a, a factory job. They want a twenty dollar a day job doing a factory job. Trust me, that's why everybody come here. That's why the boxes come here to make money. Cause the dollar is what runs things around here. So as soon as okay. you understand that, you understand the global know. economics. I, that, you know, I understand that. Dollar. I Everything is backed on the dollar. Yeah. That's why the Chinese uh, are dealing with America, and they got a lot of invest, money invested in America. So all the stuff you're talking right now, it, it, it don't mean nothing. It's it's the dollar, United States of America. Everybody want everybody and their mama trying to get up in here, and that's why they're having a hissy fit. And and do uh, setting regulations say, hey man, if you can't invest in this country, ain't no more welfare for you, and and, and that's what's it, man. They cutting people off. Hell, they cutting people off food stamps and everything else. This is the United States of America. If you ain't a U.S. citizen, if you ain't investing in this country, you ain't married to somebody, you ain't trying to start no business, uh, you overstaying your visa or something like that. You got you got this woman that killed somebody with a DUI and got no business up here in the United States of America. She should have been having a car accident. Up there in Tijuana somewhere, or uh, Chihuahua, and, and, and that province or, or state, whatever you want to call it, in Mexico, having a car accident, but she killed somebody. Okay, so let, just to let you know, and she probably didn't even have insurance. You know what I'm saying? Because she was illegal. So just to let you know, this is where people want to be at. You know, I had people from Brazil tell me, "Hey, I, I want to be here." You know what I'm saying? This is where it's at, United States of America. Okay. And nobody said that. That's what it is. The dollar. Everybody and their mom want to come in. That's why the Ukrainians over here. That's why Sergey Kovlov and, and, and his family, his child, he's raised to be a racist over here because he he ain't making the type of money he was making over uh, in Russia. Russia, they didn't even want his ass. You know what I'm saying? That's why Dunley he brought his butt over here. He said, "Man, if I was over in uh, Ireland, uh, what's that damn John Dudley, whoever his name was, the fight Chavez." 
He was saying, man, I, it, yeah, I came to New York. That's why that old boy signed with top rank because he want to fight United States of America. He don't want to fight in the UK because he feels he can make more money. That's why uh, uh, AJ, he came over here to make more money. This is where it's at, man. That's why, AJ, uh, AJ, that's AJ, why AJ, Angulo, they, they, they did him wrong, but, you know, putting him in, the, uh, you know, the ice did him wrong, you know what I'm saying, holding him up because all he was doing was boxing. That's why Angulo over here, you know, Mexican guy. He ain't, he ain't make no man, money in Mexico because okay. money ain't worth nothing. Ain't worth it, a darn dime. That, and that's why, uh, what's his name? Uh, Laura, he became a U.S. citizen, swam over here five times trying to get in this country and became a U.S. citizen because Cuba ain't nothing. So all these all these countries you're talking about, is, is not not you per se, but all these other guys we're talking about and YTV talking about economies and ca capitalism and stuff like that. People want to be here, you know, so they can yeah. make their money. They're making real money over here. If it's nobody, ain't in the UK, uh, it's over here. Nobody you know, said nobody said that, but about. but yeah, me, same me, thing. No. That's that's why the UAB, that's why Saudi Arabia and these other countries who give money to their people don't want immigrants coming in the country because they give money to their people, not people from refugees and from Uganda, wherever the hell you Rwanda, Hotel Rwanda, or anything else. They ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they ain't doing that because they get money to their people off that oil money. So that's the only social welfare they got. But they people, they citizens, you know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's how they do it down there. They, they bring in workers to build the building. They put them in a, 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 a temporary shack, whatever like that, and they send them home. They make sure they get home. They police. They make sure they get back home. Ain't, ain't no you hanging around or nothing like that. You do the job on the building, you go back out of the country. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't get a doctor, a lawyer, or you ain't convert to what whatever they got, you know whatever they got going on, you ain't going to in their country. That's why Saudi Arabia ain't take nobody. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's about money. People don't want to take care of people that ain't got no money. Nobody do nothing for free. This ain't no free lunch over here. And the same thing with Mexico. They getting a free lunch by sending they folks over here who got issues. Not everybody's talented, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying ain't, ain't nobody got talented. Because I worked with a dude who was accountant who went right back to Mexico. He was like, man, I, I got a degree in accounting. And from Mexico, I can't work up in here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where he was. I, I'm assuming that he was illegal. That's why he went back to uh, Mexico. And that's why he was, you know, doing what he was doing. He was a bar back or whatever like that. He was a nice guy. But he went back. He's like, sure, I can't even use my degree over here. I might as well go take my butt back over to Mexico. Yeah, right. And and get in the country right. Get your uh your uh your accountant license, your uh public certified public accountant license, and uh start your own little business or whatever like that. But you being over here being a bar back don't make no damn sense. So he took him and his little girl right back over to Mexico. I think he had two girls. He was a nice guy too, man. So anyway. Yeah, United States of America, American citizens first. And uh, what was you about to say? Uh, I was going to go go down through your argument bank to bank. Okay, you guys want factory jobs. You're That's perfect. Yeah, because they pay a lot, man. They pay factory jobs. Let me finish. Let me finish. My cousin makes me? more than me. For, fourth lifter working in a, uh, a factory. Come on, man. Come okay, on. Okay, you got to let me finish or not? So who you gonna, who yeah. want that? You're gonna let me finish or not? You're just gonna continue filibustering. Oh, I was giving you facts. No, go ahead. Yeah. What was you about to say? No, I was about to say, okay, you guys want factory jobs. You could have easily had them by adapting it, adapting your job over to the solar industry. Instead, nobody that's no, cost no. too much. Nobody believing in that solar industry stuff, the uh, the global warming stuff. Everybody knows they fall. Okay, dude, that no, it just came out. I Dude. just came out. I just came out. It's all about money, carbon tax, and stuff like that. It's another way to the to, to rip people off, trying to get money <laughs> doing that green piece stuff. Oh like, my you, God. Dude, you think it's a game? No, the no. EPA, I, know. I, I think the fact that you're so, no, 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 no. I think EPA the fact that you're coming so, out had with such retarded bullshit. Let's, let's just say you had a water name. stream running in your backyard. The EPA had authority to fine you, tax you, and everything like that. Just because you had a water stream running in your backyard, man. Oh, my God. Come on, Jesus. Man. That's all these people you, know how to do is Yes, tax. yes. Uh, yes, we've had a period of time where 
for a good amount of years now, it's been breaking record. Dude, they're not falsifying the facts. You're just not realizing yes, that they're being taken. Dude, dude. dude. Look, look, look at the Northeast, all that snow falling and stuff like that. 2001. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Chicago. my God. No, no, no. We just really? had a snow really? No, 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 no. Really? 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 No, no, no. Dude, dude. Am I dealing? No, I'm, I'm going to be back. There's am no I such thing. In kindergarten right now? You really put in because of snow that there's no global warming? Do you even know what the global warming dude. is? Or are you too stupid to even look at it? Because I'm now judging you based on the fact that you come out with shit that's probably from InfoWars and Breitbart. This is what global warming is. And this What's is what climate warming? change is. Okay, good. tell is school, me. school okay, me. Okay, it's how to school you. Okay, it's this fact I'm that the, the, as the temperatures are getting up, it is causing weather patterns to change. And it is also causing for a lot of things to become a lot more extreme. Droughts okay. are getting worse. Wait, wait, uh, droughts are, wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, let go me ahead. finish. Let me finish. That's okay. why droughts are getting worse. That's why when uh -huh. there is a blizzard, the blizzards are getting uh -huh. worse. That's why the things like things uh -huh. like Superstorm Sandy exist. Uh, yeah. Can, can I interject? The drought is so bad that you got the dam and in California breaking apart. Oh, that's a bad drought, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's a yeah, it was a really bad drought. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, oh yeah, the drought so oh. bad you got the dam breaking apart. Yeah, it, because it, they got an extreme parts about to rain. It, it, oh, God, so, I so a couple years ago it was no they had a full chance to fix it. They had a chance to fix it a couple years ago, they didn't fix it. Well now all of a sudden when the rain start pouring down due yeah. to this global warming thing you're talking about, is it's breaking apart. Hmm. Yeah, yeah ain't this that's why. Yeah, drug? because the weather patterns ain't are becoming more extreme. Because they ain't no more extreme. Thank the, you. Dude, the fact that we, the we, fact that you we got said, all kind of storms and tsunamis going on in the United States. Yeah, somewhere. yes, lots yeah, more storms. A lot more than what are happening now because the temperatures are going up because of climate change. No, Dear Jesus, I am dealing with a goddamn now, fucking moron. My God. Now, it, now, if you think about this. And it, it, see, this is things you don't understand about history. See, they had an ice age back in the uh, what about the Renaissance age? But was it global warming then? Huh? Dude, so you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, no, 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 no. You're telling you know me about the mini ice no, age? No, no. You know about no. the mini ice age? Dude. Hmm. Okay. Dude. Yeah. You so really, no, no, no. There was no mini ice, ice age. Oh my God! Was Dude, not you're not ice do you tell me? Okay. You're telling me there's, wait, wait, so wait. Was it was so it not an ice age? Well, was it not an ice age? Yes, twenty to twenty-five okay, so thousand what, years what ago. Caused, what caused the warming on that one? My God! How, how did the ice age stop then? Let's see. What's this thing that killed the okay, dinosaur? See, that's, that's wait, no, 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 no. You're gonna well, let that's me. You know, said. That's what you know, said. How did? And why? Why are we still in the ice age then? We're not in the fucking ice age. Dude, if we're in the exactly, fucking ice exactly. age, Miami would be so, frozen. So how, the, so, so how the world get all warmed up and the uh, the the, uh, the lands break apart the co into continents and stuff like that? Let's see. Tectonic plates breaking the earths apart over thousands yeah, of yeah. years. Yeah, how did that happen? Says, earth warming up. How did the earth warm up? How did the earth warm up? It wasn't oh. due, it wasn't how did the earth warm up? Uh, do you mean because there's a bunch of pigs and because there's a bunch of people who turned down trees and nothing like that. That you know what I'm saying? It wasn't because there's was some airplanes and stuff like that in the sky. That just happened uh in the past uh century or so. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and you know what happened in the last century? They, the they go. Got picked up a notch. They go. So if you if you knew anything about the real weather and stuff like that, if you look at it over the centuries, the earth has uh, has been warming up, cooling off, warming up, cooling off. It's a cycle. But see, you don't study that. You just go with what uh, yes, what's no, name? Al no. Gore say. And no, all these other I say. study things. That's why I. That's why I have to you, call you. Ain't study you enough. We ain't study enough. Because no, uh, else you would have known that the the the, the earth uh, naturally uh, cools off and then uh, heats up again. You know what yes, I'm saying? As far yes, as the climate yes, and stuff like that. But you don't know yeah. nothing like that. Actually, I do because that's like that. that. This you, is this is why they call you a moron. This is you, why I you call you a moron because you, you respect that new stuff like that, though. Huh? Do you know what I'm saying? And you um, just say more, you just calling people names and stuff like that because you ain't got no facts to back up what the hell you're dude, saying. You don't know no, what you're saying. I've said it. And then you come out with little things like 
Oh, wait a minute. There's snow. You saying something that has been disproven. Oh, boy, just came out in the news and said they falsified facts about global warming, about the earth being warm. Actually, yeah. it's getting cold. Yes. So 96 yeah. so, is 97 so right? no, no, no. So that's true, right? No. The dude falsified facts, right? Well, uh, no. Obama said that thing with the French no. uh, global warming no. thing. No, yes, he did. That's not what's yes, that's not falsified. Yes, that's he not did. Falsified. Yes, falsified facts, sir. That's not and falsified. That's not falsified. That's the, that's not falsified. That's not falsified. The dude Dude. said himself that the global warming, as far as statistics and everything, as uh, as far as that uh, global thing on carbon tax, whatever the hell Obama was was trying to do, was false. And that's why we're getting rid of it. And that's why everybody, you know, old boy been elected. That's why ain't nobody ever believed in the global warming thing, because it's it's an opportunity to make money. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's about money. Yeah, yes. Thank that's why 96 and, and everything no, no, else. That, that, that's why 96 and that's why over 96% of the scientific community is in a little conspiracy, right? Is that and, that and it, 96 of what community? Like the scientific community, you know, people well, that actually study which, which organization are you talking about? Thank you. Science. I can, I can Scientists. Uh, people scientific. that study this for a living. I, I can say the 96 of, nine, uh, uh, of the community can say the, the exact opposite thing. Oh, dear Jesus. Dude, it's already been dictated. It's explained look, upon. Look, it, it's it ain't been dictated. I, what did I just tell you? No, what you just told me is so quack that what I got it. It's, it's, it's true. Right. What I told it, you was true. Not, it's not. It's and, not and, and ain't no dude. such thing as global warming. Dude, this dude. Yeah, no such thing. Yes. Yes, no there's such no such thing. there's no such thing there's as no global such warming. Thing. Exactly. You yeah. said it right. Yes, there's no such thing. No, no, exactly. yeah. no, no, no. no. They, you, said right the, you said it right. You know you see it's no. a Freudian no. Freudian slip. You said it right. No, 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 no because thing. no, because you before you start you filming. Night, no, no. Yeah, you can no go such thing. You can filibuster. You can, no you can such thing. Filibuster. You can just say why are they trying to tax system. people on it? Why are they trying to tax people on it? Then, right. I don't know. Maybe man, because right here in Chicago, pass the bags. They're trying to tax people on every damn thing because they want to make some more money, man. Man, what did I just tell you about the bottom line is dollars. You know what I'm saying? If you on a whichever side you on, left or right, somebody trying to make a nickel off of it. Won't you open your mind up? You know what I'm saying? So if somebody preach some global warming so, thing. And they trying so to sell they, you something. It was like, damn, why are you trying to sell me something on something and then want to tax me on every damn thing? Ain't that peculiar to you? Let's Ain't see. Ain't that peculiar to you? Let, let me, no, 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 no. Let me see. Something yeah, that has to make some money. No, let's see. That's something that's about. Let's see. Something that has been proven by decades it's not proven. of scientific. No, it's been proven Dude, by man, decades of years of death and studies. Whatever I want him to say if I give him some cash. Oh, my God, man. Like we really went from a boxing conversation. That's why Al Gore. That's why Al Gore is still flying in his jet, leaving all his carbon footprints all over the damn place. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't Hill, agree with the fact that it's perfect. Hillary and all the other people got private jets, and why they want you to ride on the bike? You know what I'm saying? And then yes. pay taxes, carbon taxes on every damn thing, and taxes on plastic bags and stuff like that. And they want you to be Greenpeace, and they fly in the private jets every damn well. So think about that, okay? I, I do. That's why. Will. That's why I, I yeah. always yeah. do. Uh, that's why I criticize people, them. Ain't it? Don't uh, it? They fly uh, in jets and everything uh, like that. Why don't they ride a bike from California yeah. to uh, uh Boston? Yeah, no. they won't. You damn right yeah. they won't. No, no, you know, no, you know what I also find. No, 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 you also what I find peculiar is is a bunch of oil billionaires funding a lot of movements that have people like you convinced that something that they're doing, even their own studies, even their own internal company studies, have shown that this thing that you want to claim is a false little narrative is real and is. Global warming, even their yeah, own scientists, even global. their own studies, even their own studies, even in all the oil company, they yeah, even said it. Dude, I'm sorry. I, am I gonna have to treat you like Scorsese when I when I talk about the Donna Stevenson? That, that global warming thing they talk about is like methane gas and stuff like that. Hell, it, at, right now, 
You could say uh, the National uh, Park, um, what was it, Yellowstone? Hell, that might do the most global warming. You know how many carbon, carbon dioxide and all those gases that are up under there warming up the damn earth right now? A whole lot ready to explode. You know what I'm saying? That's some global warming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That right there. That's natural, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's natural. natural. Yeah, that's, okay. yeah, that, that's a natural. Mm -hmm. That's warming. Way natural. more. No, 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 no. Are you going to filibuster? Are you going to keep filibustering because I'm about to school you again? Yes. Let's go ahead. Yes. One, 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 one thing that's bad made. Go ahead and go to school so I can, so, so, so I can, uh, so I can uh, rip up your report card. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because, well, obviously, you never got a report card. But the main problem is, okay, Yo, you, you, could, you, know, you, you don't even know who you're dealing with, do you? You don't know who you're dealing with either. You don't know who you're dealing with, do you? Yeah, you don't know who you're dealing with either. Yeah, I, 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 I have no idea, but as far as you saying, I don't have a good report card. Hey, obviously, you, you don't know. Hey, what hey, I'm you not say I don't want to rip up my report card. I'm not insulting anybody, sir. If you want me to be clear, okay. If I have you to get to your point, you call me names. I ain't called you one name yet. No, I know right. you don't have to because you keep filling. Because you don't have a strong argument, sir. No, because well, you know, you know what why you it, don't Daniel? hear it. You no. don't have a strong argument, Mister Daniel. Actually. The only reason you're here is because every single time you get around to it, you want to keep filibustering. I'm not filibustering, Mr. Daniel. That's something they Now do. you're not. Now you're not because but now as soon as they're going to say, hey, let's yeah. go. Let's go with some more uh, of your uh, facts that have been go. already falsified by somebody that was in that whole community. And, oh and they God, said dude. they docked the facts. We had a whistleblower already come out, man. I know you've seen it. Yeah, and yeah, I've seen yep, I've okay. seen one person one person that's coming from an industry trying to do this is what I mean. This is what I mean. As Whatever soon as, as right soon now as, right now has already been debunked because you had somebody from your community, your ninety four percent of scientists come out and say we falsify reports dude. that the the earth dude. is warming up. Come dude. on, man. No, no, come on, no, 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 come on. Why, 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 no, no, no. No, no, you know no, about no. it. I know no, no. about it. You yeah. heard about it. You yeah. already came out and whistleblowed and said, "Yo, man, it's a falsy report. Dude. There ain't no global warming. The, uh, the, uh, we falsify facts." Thank Dude. you. Yeah. Oh, are you done? Are you done filibustering? I, yeah, I, I'm waiting. Are you, you done filibustering? Are you done filibustering? I'm having a good time doing this because because I'm winning. You're not winning every single time. I, you win, well, I, I, I have one because you're and here. It is again. And here yeah. it is again. As soon as somebody proves something, you're gonna filibuster. Okay. Yes. No, you haven't said anything. No, because you want to keep because shoot. you want to keep filibustering. Shoot. Shoot. All right. Shoot. Shoot, yes. Man. If global warming is such a shoot. lie, if, if global warming is such a lie as you claim it is, why is it that even the studies from the companies that do the most damage, like the old companies? Have re have their own internal research that says it's real and it's probably even worse when, than what is even being reported. When 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 when, when did these facts come out? That they've been out over bad periods of years. They've ah, actually been something out there a couple of years ago, and one was actually out last year from Exxon okay, Mobil. Last year, but this year somebody came out and said from your side that the, the reports Obama used last year. To sign that global uh, initiative, whatever like that, on global warming, well, uh, they falsify reports. There you go. Thank you. So we talk about current data. Yeah, I need yeah. Current yeah, you're data. taking one little person that just Anything happens to be data. talking about their side, Who's and then you, and then, and then you're taking I don't need that this, is, this is what I love. Like, this is what I love. You're proving the fact that you know you're going to lose global warming thing was called a news you and somebody to trying to figure out somebody's uh, how to make some money off of it or something yeah. like that. So wh what are you doing to uh, lessen your carbon footprint, Mr. Dan? Let's see. I use let's see. I use paper bags. I I filter my own water. Uh -huh. what I do. You're already. See, that's what I'm saying. You ain't doing nothing. Uh, actually, they did. Actually, have you heard what I've been trying to say? Or yeah, you still drive a car? I have to, unfortunately. No, yes. you don't. No, you don't. Okay. What were yeah. people doing before they had a car? 
let's see, horse and buggy. But that's the main thing. And that's so, another so, one. Go, 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 and then you can let your and then you let your pigs, you let your pigs and your horses, uh, put their imprint on the carbon footprint and uh, muddy up the waters with, with all the feces and stuff like that, and the pig farms and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the problem too with the pig farms and then pooping all over the thing, infesting the waters and streams. But you know nobody want to talk about that. And then the cattle farms and stuff like that they got in Brazil after they cut down the trees. That, that might be an issue too. But maybe you want to uh, do that. You know, live on the land and have your own little cattle where they, they pooting and, and all that other stuff, putting out their own little, uh, car, car, uh, whatchamacallit, so they get little gases or whatever like that. Because that affects the atmosphere too, if you didn't know. Yes. That's one of the okay. things, but you know what? No, you know so what? Maybe, maybe, maybe you should go vegan. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should go off somewhere. No, no, maybe and there you go. You you the stop the driving your car. As soon as you, you know that you were gonna get hammered, once you start down, to drive, you, I, I want you to stop driving your car. Get rid of that gas guzzler that's uh, using all the fossil fuels. The fossil fuels that you get from those companies that you say that claim that global warming is so real. Why? Why are you still funding them? You know what I'm saying? Mr. Daniel, why are you still funding? Why are you still got a car? Talk about you have. You can bike to work. You know what I'm saying? Whether it takes four hours or three hours, you want to save the globe so much. But now you want to sit here and call me names and stuff like that. But yet you still leaving your carbon footprint okay. just like Al Gore and the rest of them. Are you done? You to are you done? Hey, are like you that. done? Are you, you done? Know I'm right. Are you, you done? Know I'm right. Are you done? No, I'm not done. Of course you're not done, because as soon as you come out with your stuff, we need, it's going to come we, out. You how want many to cars you got? I, I bet you got like two or three cars, don't you? One. Like well, I said, you don't, get like get I said, you don't know who you're it. dealing with. We going to get rid of it. We going to get rid of it. When are you actually going to go to school and actually learn something? We going to get rid of it. When are you going to start leaving that carbon footprint? No, no, no. When are you going to go to school and actually learn something? When are you gonna go to school and learn something? Well, and the, the only reason I have to go this far with you is we because you're the car. We, we no, no. gonna get rid of the car. When are you gonna go to school and learn something? Well, we ain't gonna get rid of the car. When are you gonna go to school and learn something? We can go back we this all day. All right, when are you gonna school. go? Really, really? Because I graduated magna cum laude, so I graduated honors. I got a pre I got a letter from from bill clinton you ever get a letter from the president of the united states of america hell no you ain't getting no letter from the united states of america so actually we're gonna get rid of the car we're gonna get rid of the car when are you gonna go to school and actually learn something because apparently that thing we're gonna get rid of the car when are you gonna go to school learn something because i can do this all day because i can do this all day i can do this all day i can do this all day dude because magnum 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 cool out. I already graduated from school. Yeah, and yeah, and apparently it was a wasted Thank education. You. Thank <laughs> you. It's not wasted because I'm beating you down. I'm beating really? you down. You're not I'm beating, beating me down. down. Every single yes, time sir. that you want to come you into want, it, you, you want to fill a buster. You want to fill a buster. I want to know you get rid of your car. When are you gonna go to school and actually learn something? When are you gonna get rid of your car? When are you gonna go to school and learn something? When are you gonna get rid of your car? When are you gonna go to school and learn something? When are you gonna get rid of your car? When you gotta go to school and learn something. When are you gonna get rid of your car though. When are you gonna go to school next to learn something? You're going to get rid of your car. That gas guzzling, that methane gas guzzling carbon footprint. Uh, what what will you put like twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand miles a year? Use an oil and everything like that, that disgusting car that, that you say is polluting up the environment. When are you gonna get rid of it, Daniel? When are you gonna okay. start living the life? When are you going to start practicing what you preach? When are you actually going to go apply and actually look for a university and actually open yourself up to the world? Because apparently, you as soon as you went to Monica Cum Laude, you decided to go to Monica. You haven't beaten me down at all. You haven't beaten me down at all. As soon as you want to say something. No, no, this is the thing. Have you ever flown a plane before? Huh? Are you really going to do this right now? Oh, my God. Oh Jesus! You fly the jet, sir. Oh Jesus! Yes, I have flown the jet to get back to go from Pearl Harbor back home. Okay, so there, there you go. Another hypocrisy right there. 
That's good. That's 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 the fact the global warming thing right there. See you know what I'm saying, Daniel? See, that's what I'm saying, man. You, you might might as well get on our team. Might as well get on the team, brother. Let, Why, let you, no no no. Why should I get on the team of Billy Jackson? Michael Jackson. You like Michael Jackson? No. You, yeah, you do. No. Yeah, I don't. You know, everybody like Mike. I like his music. I don't like the man. Well, if you don't like it. Read the lyrics of Man in the Mirror. Read that. Yeah. And read that. Read. I want you to read that, Daniel. I want you to read that before you start telling somebody about some global warming, okay? Actually, I want, I want... Man in the mirror. Okay. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you at least recycle? Yes. Okay, thank you. At least you do you, that's one step closer to the overall objective of you getting rid of your car. The next step is getting rid of your car. And then the next step for you is to actually go apply to university and actually learn. Something. I will go. I will go to another university if you get rid of that damn car. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna stop this, are we? I'm All right, graduated. Magna cum laude, baby. Yeah, and apparently that yeah, whoever gave me the magna cum laude should receive. Yeah, that's the that magna cum I'm beating you down, buddy. Actually, I didn't win. you didn't you win at all. You didn't win at all. In fact. Well, the call me all kind of names and stuff like that, and it turns out you just you know being why? You know why? Because you're just being hypocritical. You you drive a car. You tell me about global warming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, you want to laugh? You well, want to laugh because, because no, I'm telling no. you, messing with the wrong one, bro. No, you messing with, the, messing wrong with the wrong one. Messing with the wrong one. You messing with the wrong one too, man. That's what. That's all it is. I didn't put it on you. This is gonna be epic on EJ Boxing Live, bro. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be so epic on you. The fact that any single time you want to, it's somebody gonna be epic. Gonna... How you got beat down? Oh, yeah, it's gonna I... be so epic. Yes, it's gonna I be know, so epic. Right? Dude, you lost Anytime. already. Oh, Dude, you, you didn't win. Dude, you I know, know how you know you're proving that you lost? Any Dude. single time I try to say something, you yeah. filibuster. That's why I have to tell you this. This is the only way to get your attention. That's the part does, baby. I don't do that. I let yeah, you see. Dude, no, I as see. soon as I was about to say something, but you, you start driving feeling, the car. You driving the car. I, I just want to win. That's why you ain't even doing it right now. Here, What's Jesus. The last time you filled up the tank, buddy. <laughs> What's the last time you actually, when's the last time I filled What's up the tank? last time you filled up the tank, buddy? Two weeks ago. You, you alive. It wasn't no. two weeks ago. No, because I actually don't drive my car a lot. Yeah, you do. Stop lying. But you haven't gotten rid of it, have you? So, uh, wait a minute. So, let's so, see. So, so you can keep us me a line, yet you don't know who the fuck you're car. dealing with. So, why the hell should I even no, so bother listening to you? No. So, so, you're cursing? I have to curse. I have to curse and I have to so insult. Not, because not only have you cursed, sir. To stop Mr. with your filibustery. Mr. Daniel, not, not only have you cursed, cursed. But you have called me out of my name. That's I have that's, to. That's, that's, I have that's, to. That's, when, that's, when? Very, that's very unfortunate. That's very unpolite for a person who's trying to convince somebody to um, believe in global warming, especially for coming from a person who drives a car. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. When somebody that who, whenever I will try to say something, starts filibustering. That's why I, mean, I ask you when you're that's done. Very unfortunate, Mr. Daniel. So. Yeah, you yeah you punk yourself so, by so, so, what, so by, what, what, and there it is again. Say you? And there it is again. You're filibustering. Dear what Jesus, do you want to say now? Oh. Go ahead, speak. I ain't even saying anything. What you say? Oh, let's see. Let's review. Like I said, okay, like, you got that necessary. Cause, 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 no, no. Cause this you see here once again. You filibuster. The, the, the guy argument's over with. No, the argument's not over with. It is over with. No, you just it filibuster. Is. You just filibuster over it. Any yeah, single time I, somebody tries to say something, you filibuster over it. I didn't filibuster over anything, dude. You filibuster just the whole entire thing. As soon as I was about to say something, you come out with your nonsense. You about to say something about something like 1975 or something like that? No, see, you don't, don't even, you I, don't even know. Going, you don't even I, I, know I, I, because you want to keep filibustering. Current data, current data that you are no. aware of. But you trying to tell me something that happened 30 years ago. Come on now. So 
You don't, you, without even hearing a word out of my mouth, automatically assume that I'm going to say something for 30 minutes. I heard a word out of your mouth. You called me all kinds of names. Yeah. Because, unfortunately, you're proving them right. So, proving what right? What I'm calling you. That's the main point. Because I don't No, because whenever somebody tries to speak something that may be contrary to your belief, you're going to start filibustering. Well, I, I already gave you, you already know about the fact I just told you about the falsification of the uh, whole global warming thing. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm so you don't to no. Thank no. you. So w what's your argument based on? No, no. Um, See, you don't even um, bother because you're thank you, thank you, thank you, See, that's what I'm saying, man. How are you going to keep on trying to uh, uh, push some false narrative on me when you already know it's false? Come on, man. That's what we talk about, the fake news thing, man. Why you want to be a part of that, man? And then you being hypocritical, just like Al Gore. You driving a car, just like this man doing a jet, you know, and you drive a commercial airplanes and stuff oh, like dear, that. Jesus, well, why are you doing that, man? Folks, this what is what I'm doing? dealing with. This is what I why deal with. Why are you doing that? I don't make no sense. Today, but instead, I have a, I have no sense. a charlatan, a fool. How much, how much do you actually recycle? How much do I actually recycle? Every yeah, what, single, can, what, what do every you single can that I can, every single bottle that I can, every single plastic bag that I may get from the supermarket. Do you get money from that? Do you get money no. from that? No. No, I don't. Do you recycle other people's cans? Yes. I think you know I give it to the town. You hesitated on that one, but. No. Okay. I can. I do. And guess what? I take it to the car. You gotta, you gotta keep on doing that. I, I, I want you to go out tomorrow. I want, I want you to uh, pick up the trash in the neighborhood, in your neighborhood. And I want you to cycle as much as you can. And then I want you to go out and I want you to sell your car. And I want you to live the life. Okay. And never, never use a commercial airplane ever again in your life. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, you I'll gotta. No, 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 no. I'll do that. I'll do that. Very important. No, 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 no. Very important. No, no, no. Are you gonna, are you gonna finish? Or are you gonna start Dang. filibustering again? Dang. Are you gonna filibuster? Are you filibustering? Are you filibustering? This whole, this whole global warming thing you saying is so serious that that, that you know that you claim is so serious that you gotta start living the life, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta practice what you preach. You know, you got to get on a sailboat that doesn't use any gas. You, you know, I don't know how you're going to get from California to to uh, wherever. You know what I'm saying? Florida. I don't know how you're going to sell the seas. But it can't be used using any kind of type of gas that's going to pollute the system, okay? You can't use the submarines <laughs> or nothing like that. You can't use none of that, okay? I'm saying, tell you, man, you got to go back to the ancient times, okay? This is very serious. This is what you believe in, man. You gotta live it. <laughs> are, you are, are, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? You gotta live it in are order you, to preach it, Because obviously you know done. I'm telling the truth. You're you obviously know. not done because you, you want to fill up us. Because truth. any single word that you take that thinks that it's an agreement, you want to roll on it because you know you're about to get it. You gotta, you gotta, right you gotta live it. on. So you why gotta should you even bother answering to somebody you gotta live it. Who apparently got some come mana cum laude you gotta live a degree it. and has wasted it. So it's, it's, why? It's, well, what did you say? What? 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 I'm speaking to somebody that has a mana cum laude degree and obviously has uh, wasted it. It's not mano. It's magnum. Thank you. I'm magnum. I'm so sorry. You magnum. Magnum. You heard of magnums? It's like the spawners, magnums for the extra large. That's how I'm doing you extra big right now. You know what I'm saying? Magnum. I'm giving you the golden ticket right now, okay? That's how I'm doing you in right now. Like, Magnum, yeah. Magnum. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Magnum, like, yeah. big. You want to keep doing it You want to keep doing it That's how I did my school there. I did a big. Big no, league. That's, that's, how I did. that's how I do. Big league. Yeah. That's how I'm doing you right now. You're not doing anybody this way, dude. Yeah, uh, it, yes, I am, because you said Mag Mano, and that's kind of low, but I said Magnum. That means high. My note means low. Okay. So anyway, um, uh, do you want to give me any more facts? From, yes. From, from, yes. From, 
That's that's oh, old, that's, old, that's, old, still, old, that's old, still old. again with the little line that you say is thirty do, years ago. Do, do you want me, obviously do you, your mind. Do you want to give me any more that's old it. facts? Old facts. Old. Facts. Are you? Are you actually gonna you know, let me speak? Even though you know, even are you, you know, actually gonna let me speak? Because you know, obviously, you no, know, so you're not. Because you know, know, you know, Obama's global uh, warming initiative, that treaty he signed with the uh, EU and stuff like that, was based on falsified documents. Do you want to give me any more kind of facts or anything like that? I'm gonna let you uh, uh, end it right here. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I gotta go. I got something else to do. Because I, I think you're kind of like worn out. Because you got. Uh, you know, to name calling and all this stuff. You no. talk about filibustering. Well, 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 this is the main like thing. You, you know go what? drive a car. Oh and all my this other God! Stuff. Yeah, here we go. The filibustering so I, I still, again. I still need because the person that filibusters is the what person you need that doesn't want to hear the other person talk, talk because like a red, know the red flag wagon. And they're only going to speak. I'm trying to help you out. What you need to do is you need to get a bike. Not, not a motorcycle or anything like that. A bike that you can manually use, you know, your legs. I don't know if you you can do that or not like that, but use your legs. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. I'll get somebody to go there. Around. You and really want to go there? Oh, flyer. Jesus, you, man. You, you can use a red flyer wagon or some kind of cart or oh, something no, like no, that. No, no, no. Maybe something. Keep talking. And Keep talking. Keep up talking. The trash. Keep talking. Pick up the trash around your city, wherever you live in. That's what I want you to do. I want, to, I want you to pick all the bottles and stuff like that. I want you to recycle. And I, I want you to go out. And I want you to sell your car. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where you want to pocket the money or you want to. Uh, Are you done? You no, know, donate the money to World Peace. Are you or something done? Like that. Are you or, done? Or something like that. Are, you done? You Are you done? Uh, Are yeah. you done? Are you done? No, I. I, I a Are you done? Are you done? Your gums so are you to so go, go ahead with your facts. Go, 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 go ahead with your old out of date facts. I need you to give me your old out of date facts. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go are ahead. You gonna let me speak. Are you going to let go me ahead. speak? Yes, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, Mr. Daniel. Yes. Okay. The our treaty you're talking about is the Paris Climate Accord which actually supersedes the Kyoto Protocol, which takes studies from NASA that are done annually, along with studies from the European Space Agency, the Chinese Space Agency, the Japanese Space Agency, and even the Russians, that dictate and measure the temperatures of the world. They measure the ranges and the averages, and they take it with averages from previous years. And what they found is, particularly now as we've headed into the year 2000, the rate of the temperatures has gone up. Uh, excuse me. And, and, and unfortunately, no, you're going to let me face because you filibustered enough. So on top of that, you have the main centers coming in from the pollution art, the U.S., China, Japan, Actually, Brazil now, because of the, the population growth and the loss on a good amount of the Amazon, and the EU, along with the Middle East when it comes to raw oil production. What you're seeing is the, the raising of the temperatures because we're putting elements out into the atmosphere, not only as individuals, but from large companies that come in the scales. And the only main reason we want to do it in this way is because unfortunately we as a society, we don't like to do things hard. It would be easy to try to put an electric car as if people want to say it's easy, but it's not. That means reworking the electrical grid. And that means rewiring a lot of people's cars to take batteries. That's why hybrids exist, actually, so they can test it out. And that also requires us to completely change the way we do things, which is why, like when you talked about the factory jobs. Oh, by the way, he, well, okay, you're still that good. Now, because it talked to the factory jobs, the U.S. could have easily have been coming from what is the rust belt to the solar belt, because unfortunately, 
contrary to your contrary to your belief the solar industry is actually making a lot of money but guess what a lot of the parts now that are being made for it are being made in china where it could have been easily now been made in ohio in indiana in pennsylvania in lower illinois in missouri kentucky those areas those areas that are right now currently being affected by loss of jobs mainly to automation and dealing with an opiate explosion right now unfortunately those jobs could have easily gone into it but we chose not to because unfortunately it's hard to adapt from building cars to building solar panels it requires you to go back to school it requires you to learn a couple more things when it comes to building but it can be done. Unfortunately, that region of the country has not. But unfortunately, it's on a macro scale what we're seeing with the temperature because unfortunately, despite the fact that you probably think, by the way, you spoke there, I live in California. I live in Long Island, New York. Yes, we just had a foot of snow here the other day. You know what we also had a few years ago? We had snow in May. So the, t the climate right now does not know how to add because it keeps constantly changing due to the things that we're putting out in the atmosphere. And we're reaching the point, unfortunately, where, where anything that we do is not going to help. That's the bad part of it. Now, that a lot of the hard work that has to go into it is coming to change. Now, like I said, if it was easy, if it was easy, people would do it. If it was easy, people would just be driving bikes all the time. There would be no such things as lending cars. <coughs> and there would actually just be pure recycling programs. But guess what? The reason it's not is because we got used to doing things a certain way and changing it is hard. I can agree that it's hard. It's hard for people to change the fact that they may have to take a paper bag instead of a plastic one. They may have to pay five cents for a can of soda, which I can understand you gripe when it comes to the taxes. I understand the gripe with the taxes. I understand the carbon tax. I understand from a macro standpoint, it's pretty bluntly hypocritical unless you really, really enforce that tax on the companies that are the major causes of this, which is all companies, factories, and industry. I do agree with you in that sense, where it shouldn't just be putting in everything on the little guy. It never should be, but unfortunately, the way everything is structured, because as you have eloquently stated, that the almighty dollar is king, you, it's easily for people that have a lot more money to shift the burden to people that have less money. It's been done over 50 years, unfortunately, in this country. We're starting, we've been seeing it some, since actually since when, I think 19, since the Carter administration, actually, a little bit. And then Reagan intensified it. It only started getting better, unfortunately, when Bill Clinton and Barack Obama were in office. But that hasn't been completely fixed yet. I completely agree in the fact that there's some things that can be done. That's something that really, really can be done. I said, I do, I do my part. I said, I recycle everything that I can that is recyclable. When I buy my next car, I am looking into either a hybrid or an electric car. Because unlike what you think, I don't have stumps for legs. I can walk. Now, have I said anything from 1975? Only I mentioned something from the Carter administration where the effect of economics, because you brought up the dollar is king, which, by the way, is, like I said, it's going to be hilarious. Hilarious when you see that 
the wall that you say Mexico's going to pay for, the American taxpayers are going to wind up paying for it twice. Because number one, Mexi no dollar from the Mexican government is going to go to the U.S. for a wall. Hell, Trump even tried to do a 20% tariff because he thinks that that will cause Mexican companies to stop building here. But you know what's going to happen? Because the rate of labor is still lower in Mexico, they're going to stay because few of them haven't left. And they're going to pass the cast on to the consumer. Which is unfortunate when people will realize it, that they're paying double for the wall. When all the stuff that comes in from Walmart, when we buy all the TVs with the parts that are made in Mexico, necessarily start going up again after a consistent rate of years of it going down. I worked in electronics before. I sold TVs. A 65-inch TV used to cost at the time when I stopped working at Sears. It still cost around five thousand, six thousand dollars. Now it's a fourth of the cost because they've become more common. The technology has become cheaper, and of course, because they moved a lot of the labor from Korea or China to Mexico. I'm pretty sure consumers are going to notice if the prices start going up for products that have been consistently going down. That's when you realize that the wall is not going to be paid for by Mexican citizens. It's going to be paid for by the American taxpayer. And you and let me touch on this little thing when you called, talk, talked about a free ride. Yeah, there's a lot of people in this country to get a free ride. There's actually a county, I forgot the name of it, in Kentucky. Deep, deep red. Votes Republican in almost everything. Over 95% of their population is on welfare. So yeah, I know a lot about when it comes to people being moochers. In fact, the states that a lot of people call blue states actually wind up funding a lot of the states that are called red states. Because red states tend to Take in more, take in more money from the federal government than they give out. Whereas blue states, they tend to give more to the federal government than they take in. And let me go into this little dam that you spoke about when it comes into it. That's actually part of a bigger problem, which is the fact that we, as a country, have not invested in infrastructure in a very, very, very long time. We don't invest infrastructure, unfortunately, because number one especially when it comes to roads. People don't like to be annoyed by traffic jams. And two, it does cost more money. And when it comes to money, it has to come in from somewhere. And it does come in from taxes. I agree that California made a mistake in not fixing that dam. But like we mentioned, with this climate change situation that we have going on around the world, You've seen a period where you had a serious drought now being curtailed by record rainfall. Going from one extreme to the other does bad things, and it's done a lot of bad things to that dam. Which, by the way, it's hilarious when you point out the fact that the people that are laughing at California for, oh, you have a broken dam, you're a blue state. Oh, the people that are affected are from the most Republican county in the state. Now, once again, I didn't mention anything from 1975 for the study, no. I mentioned the fact that this has been done by mountains of research, done by various international agencies, which, by the way, you would really have to have to have an immense level of conspiracy an immense level that would make the quote unquote Illuminati seem infantile to have over 95%, I think as much as a few one poll, 97% of the entire scientific community and the entire scientific research proving the fact that a lot of what we're seeing now has been accelerated, unfortunately, due to man. Yes, there have been ice ages, and yes, there have been 
finite ages. But a lot of those were caused by outside factors. One of the reasons most people believe, and this is like a belief, not a proven fact, that the last ice age mainly happened was due to the fact that a meteor struck and covered the Earth. I haven't seen enough research that to make a point in that sense, but I do agree that there was an ice age 25,000 years ago. And it started going down. And now we're at a point where the ocean level is rising at a dramatic level. You're seeing ice caps that have been around for thousands of years suddenly break off. You're about to see cities like Miami, the city I grew up in, literally be underwater because the city is below sea level. And you're about to see major catastrophes throughout the world. Now, is it easy to just say, oh, is it just a lie to make to have people to make money? I can see that cynical point of view. I really can. I'm a cynic in a lot of things. But when half of the world population tends to live along coastal lines, and it's been fortunately it's been proven that the fact that half the world population lives along the coastlines and the other half tend to live deep inland. You're about to see things happening to half the world that they don't really that were not supposed to happen probably for another thousands of years. Because yeah, there was probably gonna be another calamity that's gonna cause the temperatures go up or to cause the ice caps to melt. But the thing unfortunately about it is, is we're changing it at an extreme level. Now, Mr. PNC, have I mentioned a study from 1975? This could be a simple yes or no answer. Yep, I don't hear your answer. So, I haven't mentioned any studies from 1975. I haven't mentioned. Yeah, you did. You mentioned something from the Carter era, but I'm oh. about to go to sleep. Go ahead. Go All to right, sleep. Man. I'll catch you later, man. It was nice talk to you. Okay. Uh, first of all, but wait, uh, before before you do. Because I am a man of honor, I want to apologize for some of the names that I for, for all the names that I said. I don't like to conduct myself in that fashion, so I do apologize to you, sir. All right, all right, Daniel. All right, right apology accepted. Yeah. Thank you. All right, man. I'll catch you later. Yeah, have a good night. Okay, bye. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here.